say nipples? YouTube the way that I wanted to so I figured that now why not is the best time to be able to just dive right back in there because I know that y'all love me unconditionally and want to know the information that I'm telling you and I wanted to share the information that I was telling you but doing an hour-long podcast and trying to get everything in there within that hour is a lot because I'm long-winded so we are going to move some content over to my YouTube as well just like some little extra stuff um this is not included though as a bonus so like my bonus stories will be this is how it will go it will be like I make a video about nipple orgasms, right, and how to achieve that on my YouTube. Um, and I will share a small instance or a small description of my experience with that on my podcast. But then on my members page behind the scenes, you will get a full on instance. And this is the bliss that I felt when I had my very first nipple orgasm. So with that being said, let's dive in. Now, one important thing to know before I get started is that there are a lot of different kinds of orgasms. And I believe that Maybe it's because of porn, although I mean I've seen porn where people have orgasms in different ways, but I believe that it's just a, a ignorance and like a lack of knowing um, that made us believe that we can only have like one or two kinds of orgasms. Now I'm sure a lot of you all are probably privy or understanding of the penetrative orgasm and the clitoral orgasm for um, people who have vaginas and vulvas, but... I will say that, you know, one thing I've, I've tried to be a bit more sensitive to because like it, I just, I just want to be more conscious of it. And it's the fact that not everybody has a clitoris and this can be due to female mutilation. This can be due to several other things, but it, a majority of the time it is because of um, female mutilation, which we will get into. I want to like dedicate a whole video to that. I would like to even have a guest on the show that can speak about that. Um, because I don't want to speak from an ignorant place, but I just really want my content to be a lot more inclusive. So that's why we are here with this nipple orgasm. One more thing is that I believe that everybody deserves to feel pleasure. So we're not just stopping at the nipple orgasm. We are going to find a whole bunch of different kinds of ways that we can orgasm without having to even stimulate our vulva or our genitals really, um, or main genitals. So one thing about the nipples are that they are a part of the erogenous zone. And erogenous zones are basically places that can make you feel really, really good when they're touched or stimulated. A place that a lot of people do not know is the erogenous zone is your scalp, which can make sense why I used to really crave like these amazing scalp massages. And although I would perform them for my for my partner at the time, um, yeah, I never really got them. But it's okay because we are going to not focus on that. We are going to focus on the fact that there are so many different forms of pleasure that I'm about to experience and I cannot wait to experience them with you all. Now let's get down to the actual orgasm, right? The how-to of it all is really, really somewhat simple, but I'll give you like a, a background of like my experience first. First of all, it was totally accidental. Like, I didn't wake up that day saying, like, oh, I'm going to try to have a nipple orgasm. Like, that that wasn't the case. It's the same thing with when I squirted. Although, I thought I've always kind of had the intention in my mind that I wanted to learn how to squirt or just know if I knew how to or if my body could. Um, but with my nipples, they've just always been so sensitive ever since I was a child. So, like, I, my, my nipples were so sensitive, I had to put band-aids over them when I was younger. No, it was that bad. Like, yeah. Like, I couldn't I couldn't have stuff rubbing. I would always have to have on a bra, but I didn't like underwire bras. So I need to wear wireless bras with padding so that I wouldn't feel anything. It was just a lot. One point in my life when I was a child, I used to wear Band-Aids on my nipples and then these like, like nylon or like polyester shirts and then like a, a training bra underneath it. Like, it was just a lot. So my nipples and I have had like a really... I've never hated them, so I won't say love-hate relationship, but my nipples are as sensitive as I am, emotionally, <laughs> so it just makes sense. But with that being said, I achieved a nipple orgasm. Um, 
recently and it was simply by stimulating my nipples that's it it's like the how-to is stimulate your nipples I actually will say that I feel like it was a mixture of like breath work mixed with nipple play because I've stimulated my nipples before and it's really crazy. What's really, really crazy about this is that, and, and I'll speak more about this on my podcast more in depth, but I have some trauma when it comes to the overstimulation of my erogenous zones to the point where I will even disassociate. So what's very interesting about this experience is that like, although it happened twice, this nipple orgasm that I gave to myself, and although it wasn't intentional, I feel like I did somewhat disassociate during that process of me orgasming through my nipples because it's not the most vivid memory in my head, but I just remember the euphoria I felt about it. But I don't remember what that that bridge was between. And I also took a lot of breaks too. So I'm just gonna do like a step by step how to now because I feel like I gave y'all my experience. Now let's just go like step one, step two, step three. Okay. So step one is undress. <laughs> undress. Get very very comfortable. Extremely comfortable. Make sure that your body temperature is where you want it to be. Make sure that the temperature around you is where you want it to be. Um, and I know that, that sounds weird, but like I don't know. It's hard for me to like masturbate if like. I'm too cold or too hot or I just, I just, I'm uncomfortable and I can't really focus on my body at the time. So set the mood. Make sure that you have everything set up the way you want. I have galaxy lights. I have um, incense. You know, do whatever you want to make yourself just feel really, really good in the moment. Step two is find something to arouse yourself mentally. So whether that is you are thinking of an imagination or of a fantasy or maybe you are watching porn, which... It, I did. I mean, I was watching porn, so I'm not going to say, like, I'm against it. But I'm trying to veer away from that. So if you can think of some more recent experiences that you've had with somebody else, then that could be helpful. Um, but I, I went to porn. Um, you can also read books, which is really great because when you are uh, doing nipple play, I didn't even try it with two hands, which I know can be done. But I literally didn't stimulate my clit or vulva or vagina vaginal entrance at all at all at all like I didn't touch it so you have a free hand is my point so if you're not holding your hand to watch to use your phone or whatever or you prop it up um, or if you're using your imagination the fact is that you can probably sorry you could probably use two hands to, to read a book uh, one on your nipple the other on your book or whatever the case may be but I definitely just recommend that you have something that can stimulate you um, they are, have these apps that have like these audio stories and like audio books that are like super sexual so yeah just want to put that out there for you and honestly the final step because I feel like it's a three-step process is massage your nipples now the thing about it is you have to figure out what works best for your nipples, right? You know what you like. So for my bonus content on my members page, I'll put like some tips and some things that I do um, that help me stay stimulated without getting overstimulated. But also, if you feel yourself getting overly stimulated, which you will know. I feel like there are two different kinds of overstimulation. There's one that is orgasmic, right? But then there's another one that is terrifying and um a bit like traumatizing honestly like you just you feel like you're recovering for days and that's the other thing about it is that one thing I will say is that because I had so much stimulation in my um, nipples I did have like my nipples were definitely more sensitive the, the upcoming days or like the days after that just because they were just stimulated but they weren't stimulated to the point of pain so it was just like oh I feel my nipples here right now wow you know but it wasn't like oh god I hate this so yeah, you want to get to the point of stimulation to where it feels orgasmic. You don't want to get to the point where you feel like you're overstimulating yourself and you're not enjoying it anymore. Also, lastly, your nipples will react. So your nipple might get really, really hard and that's how you know, okay, let me, let me do a little something on this one. You know what I'm saying? Or your nipple might get overstimulated and you have to switch to the next nipple. Or um, your nipple might go soft and you're like, okay, it's not really feeling it right now and that's okay. Like, let me find some more ways to arouse myself because it might not just be your nipple. Thank you so, so much for watching, my loves. I love you so much. I'm wishing you happy, 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 happy orgasms. 
Don't forget to pay, uh, pay attention, no, subscribe to my YouTube, I Love It Tia. Follow me on TikTok and I Love It Tia for my sexology and Love It Tia for my animal activism. Follow me on Instagram at Love It Tia and also I Love It Tia with two A's at the end. And last but not least, check out the Love It Tia experience streaming now on all podcast platforms. I love y'all so, so much. Oh, and check out my hair skincare company, Theory by Love It Tia. It's so amazing. All about self-love, self-care. You deserve it. I love you. Don't forget to give yourself a hug for me. Be kind to yourself and be kind to animals.